Alright, start by removing the valve stem and rim lock nut. Next you're going to want to break the bead loose from the rim. Do that for both sides. I usually use Armor All or Mothers to lube everything up, but I thought I'd try out this tire soap. I didn't really like it so I switched back to Armor All. So the slipperier your rim and tire are, the easier it'll come off. Also if the tire is warm, it'll come off easier too. It'll stretch a little bit better. So one thing to watch for is you're not grabbing that inside tube from your tubeless system. It's easy to catch that and then pop that tube inside there. It's a bit of a hassle to get that, but once you've got past that, keep prying. Take little bites. Make sure the tire bead is in the drop center on the other side of the rim. Once you get most of the tire off, you can just pry it off with your hands. Then turn it over and do the same for the other side. Get your bladder cleaned up and ready to take off. At this point you could just install another tire, but for as easy as it is, I like to take it apart, clean it, and check the bladder, rim, and tube. Re-lube and install everything, and that way you know you'll get a good seal every time. I like to remove the tube at this step, just so it doesn't get pinched in the future. I like to heat up the bladder, it just makes it come off a little easier, but you don't have to do it. Check your rim tape for any holes or cracks. If it's damaged, then you gotta replace it. The tape keeps the seal and prevents dirt and water from getting into your tubeless system. Also check the rim for any sharp gouges from the tire spoons. If there are any rough edges, sand them down with some emery cloth. Check all your gear. Make sure there's no rips and tears in anything, like in this red bladder. Just go over it, make sure everything's good. Spray some others in there to lube it up. Next, put the shader valve back in the tube and pressure it up. Grab a spray bottle with some soapy water and spray your tube down. You're looking for bubbles. If you see any bubbles, that means you have a puncture and uh, you'll have to buy a new tube. And if you don't, just wipe it all down, clean it up, and then uh, get it ready for installation. Get everything all lubed up nice. You'll want to lube that bladder, lube the tube that goes inside the bladder, 
get everything lubed up really good. You don't want anything dry on there. It might not seal properly. The more lube you use, the better it is. So once you have the inner tube installed inside the bladder, line up your valve stems to the holes. It might take a little bit of tweaking, but uh, you'll want to get this step right so the valve stems aren't pulling on each other. You don't want them to tear. You'll have a flat, and then you'll be taking this all apart again. So install the nuts on the valve stems so when you go to install the bladder, they don't pop out. This is the Shinko 525 Cheater. This is the first time I've used this tire. So we'll see how it goes. My video cut out here so I missed half of this part. But you get the idea. Start sticking bars in, get it dropped in there, and then work the tire on the rim. Don't be scared of changing tires. Just take your time. Once you get onto it, it's actually fun. I don't mind changing tires. So just take little bites once you get your way around. Make sure everything's in the drop center. Keep going around and pressing the tire into the drop center and that'll be the easiest. Get that last little bit on. can't stress enough on how important it is to keep it all lubed up because uh, you want that seal to seal properly or you'll keep getting flat or you'll have to take it all apart again or break the bead, try to get lubed up and get the tire to reseal. It's a pain in the ass so use more lube than you need. Use the armor roller, the mothers. Don't use Vaseline or any oils because that'll just that'll make the tire spin on the rim. You want to use stuff that'll dry up after it's seated. So here I'm filling the inner bladder to 110 psi, and I'm going to fill the outer bladder to 30 psi. Seat the tire, and then once everything's pressured up, I'll bounce it on the ground a few times just to seat everything. All right, that's it, done deal. Clean up the mothers. Good thing about mothers or arm roll, it makes your tire look real nice. It makes everything smell good too when you're done. So. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you found any of this helpful, give us a like and subscribe.